Hello ladies, sorry this is on my phone and it's probably going to be, whoa, horrible quality, but I am too lazy and uncomfortable to get the video camera out because we have it all ready and packed to go for the hospital. Uh, but I wanted to do an update, this will be my 38 week update. And I am three centimeters. I was like two and a half, the doctor said, and he was able to stretch me to three. So that's very exciting. I asked him about induction and scheduling that for next week if she's not here on her own. Um, and he does not think I'm going to make it that long. I have an, He had me schedule another appointment for next Monday. But he does not think that I'm going to make it past this week. He thinks I'm going to have a September baby. Which would be awesome. I would love for her to come on her own this week or weekend. Um, but if not, then I'll go on Monday. And I'm assuming after sometime next week, he'll schedule it, hopefully. Um, let's see, what else happened at the appointment? He said that, yeah, so he checked me. So he, like I said, he was able to stretch me to three. He, could feel, he said he could feel the bag of water in her head. So she's right there. Um, question for you guys, too, just out of curiosity. I haven't lost my mucus plug yet, but can your water break? Does your Do you have to lose your mucus plug first and then your water can break? Or can it all happen at once? Or how does that work? If any of you ladies know, please let me know. Um, I meant to ask him and I just forgot because I was so excited that I was at 3. Because last week and the week before that I was only a 1. So I hadn't made any change within that week. But this last Friday I walked a ton. I was like determined to hopefully make a change. So... Yeah, and I think I might have had some contractions for the first time. this. Actually, this morning, early in the morning, like around 4, um, I was having a lot of pain in my lower back. Um, and then it kind of like went, moved to the front. So I don't know if that's what they are. It's hard to say because I've never had them before. So, um, yeah, I don't know if that's what they actually are or what. So, who knows. Um, he did check her weight again. She is measuring about 6 pounds, 10 ounces. So that's good. She's um, a little bit, she's still on the small side, but I'm okay with that. As long as, she, you know, she's at a decent healthy weight, you know, as long as she's not 4 or 5 pounds. So she, he said she's measuring about 37 and a half weeks, so about a week behind. But he's okay with that. He said that she's perfect. She's definitely not going to be like a 9 pound baby. He said he's guesstimating probably right around, excuse me, 7 when she's born. Um, which is perfect. I, that's kind of what I was thinking is seven. Originally, I thought I was going to have this big, huge baby because I'm bigger and my husband is bigger. Um, but that's not, obviously not the case. And when I was born, we don't know how big my husband was, but I was seven pounds, like 13 ounces, or I think. Almost eight pounds. So I just assumed I would be a bigger baby. I would have a bigger baby. Excuse me. But she's not very big. She's a tiny little thing. So, which is nice because then I'll be able to wear her newborn clothes a little bit longer. Um... But yeah, so now we are just doing the waiting game. I'm still going to go to work this week. Like I said, Friday is supposed to be my last day. Um, so my plan is to just go ahead and work this week and see if something happens. Hopefully, maybe the... I don't. I sit at a desk all day, but I do get up to go to the restroom and like lunches and breaks. Um, and then having to get up in the morning and get ready and walk to the car, to the parking lot. So hopefully that will help... Um, progress things and you know keep me a little bit active because I tried to go I walked around Target and I went and walked around um TJ Maxx which is like a Ross or Marshalls I don't know if they have those for you everywhere um but I tried to walk right after my doctor's appointment since he had just stretched me but everything my feet hurt and it's just it's really hard um for me to move <laughs> and I'm uncomfortable so yeah sorry this I really hope this is decent quality um, but yeah, so that's what's going on with me, ladies. I just wanted to do a quick update. Um, I will do another update, I guess, once she's here or next Monday. Okay, talk to you later. Bye, ladies.